Years ago, when John Heist was just starting to get into YouTube, he was asking me, how do you get good at making videos? And half jokingly, I said, well, you just need to make a whole bunch of really awful videos and eventually you'll get good at it. And I was sort of thinking of my earlier videos, some of which I find quite cringeworthy now. The thing is, the uh, technical aspects of making videos, those you can learn just by studying, but uh, the technical aspects are easy enough to get sufficiently right that they're not a problem. It's the creative part. That's where you need a lot of practice. Like uh, learning to be able to talk to the camera without getting too nervous about it. Most of us have the ability to talk to friends very coherently and elegantly, but when we talk to the camera, we get all uh, worked up about it. And that just takes practice to become less nervous about it. And the best way to get practice is just to make videos and don't worry about whether they're good enough. Just make videos and put them online and let your friends watch them. And as you watch your friends watch your videos, you can tell when they're getting bored or when they're getting confused. And even if they like the videos, and even if they don't say anything about your video, you'll know what part of your videos will need work. And of course, they might actually have some useful feedback too. But uh, don't get too stressed about making videos. You can always do another take. And I find even if, I, even if I'm in a long monologue and I flub something, I don't have to retake the whole thing. I just have to repeat the part that I got wrong. Although, by nature, when we repeat something corrected, we put extra emphasis on it just to make sure that that overrides the previous version. But of course, when there's no previous wrong version to override, that extra emphasis just seems kind of weird. So that's another subtle thing that needs practice is when you repeat yourself, don't uh, change your tone, just pretend you never said it wrong in the first place. And of course, there's lots of other subtle things that you'll learn just by making very amateurish videos. In fact, uh, most of the really big YouTubers start out just by making amateur videos on YouTube because going back to, say, 2010, no one was making a living off of YouTube. Everyone was doing it just for fun. And so there was much less pressure to be good at it. And so everybody had a chance to kind of get practiced, get relaxed at it get skilled and then once YouTube got really big, the ones that were practiced at it kind of had a head start. That part is more difficult now because the expectations are so high compared to what they were eight years ago. So just make videos, make awful videos, share them online. That way you don't get stressed out about whether your videos are good enough and eventually you'll get better.